Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a makeup challenge. As you guys know from my previous video, I told you guys I'm up visiting my parents right now, so I thought this would be the perfect time to record the full face of my mom's makeup. I've been wanting to film this video for the longest time and I'm finally up visiting my parents and it is time to record this video. So I'm going to take you guys with me to my mom's little makeup setup that she has in her room. We're going to pick out some makeup and then we are going to just sit down, apply it, play with it and uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is my mom's little makeup corner that she has in her room and all her little boxes. So I have a little tray next to me and I'm just gonna start picking out things for a full face. So let's start looking for some primers. Ooh, have that one up. Oh, she's got a good eyeshadow primer here. We also have this one. And it looks like this is also where she keeps her concealer and powder. So I'm gonna take powder and a few different options for concealer. Looks like we have some blush. Oh, I have to test one of these out. These are the Jouer powders, or the highlighting powders. Just take all three to play with. And the next drawer, or the bottom drawer, she has the giant Violet Boss Pro palette. I might need to play around with this one. The Lorac, ooh, with the Marvelous Mobs by Dose of Colors. And she has tons of lip options. Wonder which one I want to use. Let me take a few. She's got some Tom Ford, some Bobbi Brown. I'm just grabbing a few to put on the tray. Okay, so I have my tray full of makeup here. I'm just going to get right into it. Let's start with the primer she had. This is the Too Faced. Oh, the name's kind of worn off, but it says, it used to say Shadow Insurance here. 24 hour anti crease. It's coming out all oily. Just gonna work this in using my fingertips. And as you guys saw from me showing you her entire makeup collection, you can see that I'm at a little bit of an advantage compared to the other full face of my mom's makeup challenge videos. My mom loves makeup, so she has some really good stuff. I have not tried this primer before. It's kind of oily, to be honest. I'm not sure about that. Interesting. And it doesn't leave any kind of tint, but it does feel like it's setting in. Okay, let's move on. She had a few different palettes, and these are the four that really caught my eye that I wanted to use. We have the Marvelous Mauves by Dose of Colors, the Makeup Geek in the Nude palette, the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place and the Violet Boss Pro. But I have used Violet Boss before and Juvia's Place and Makeup Geek, so I think what I will do is go in with the Marvelous Mauves palette. So I'm gonna start with taking this shade right here, taking it on my Morphe Y16 brush. I'm just gonna be working this all into the crease as the transition shade. And the eyeshadow primer that I had put on felt so greasy and I didn't even think it was going to dry down. But it actually did. It turned very matte and I could feel as it dried down. It feels like very kind of stiff almost. I'm just kind of going to be moving along. I'm going to use this shade next and then just kind of work my way down. I want to use them all. So this one right now. Taking this shade on my Sephora crease brush, I'm going to be working this into the outer V and a little bit below where we put that first initial shade in the transition. Just kind of deepening things up. These colors are just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I may just need to steal this palette from her. <laughs> then taking this shade right down here. On the Y19, deepening up this outer V, then taking the very last shade. I'm doing kind of a simple look, but I just really wanted to play with all of these colors. This palette is just so beautiful. I knew my mom had this palette and I've just been wanting to play with it. Ever since I was younger, I always played with my mom's makeup. It's just one of those things probably everyone does. You know, you first get introduced to makeup by your mom. You see her playing with all the makeup. And I mean, I would just love it. I started wearing makeup when I was really young. I started wearing it when I was like 
in middle school. My mom started to let me wear makeup and I would do some crazy black smoky eyes. Looking back at it now, I did some horrible makeup back in the day. <laughs> so bad. But that was when I first discovered my passion for makeup. Some extreme fallout from this palette, as you guys can see, I'll just wipe that away, but this palette was insanely beautiful. Whew, this may need to sneak its way in my suitcase. But before I clean up under the eyes, I am gonna get some liner and do that first. So one liner I found that she had is by MAC, and this is their Fluid Pen Vintage Brown. So I think I'm gonna create a wing. I mean, it may be drawing out. It's a little bit difficult. I do wish this was in black and not dark brown, though. But this was the only liquid liner that she had. Dang, it was so dry, it was actually starting to mess up my inner corner. It kept skipping. It could be that this is just really old. My mom does not wear a lot of liquid liners. I'm just gonna clean up the under eyes, clean up the wing a little bit. So I have one primer that is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. I don't know if this is supposed to be pore filling. I don't think it is. I think it's just an all over. It doesn't say anything about that. So let's just kind of put it everywhere. Yeah, it says nothing about it being a pore filling primer. It just says leave your skin with a velvety finish. What I'm also thinking about doing while I'm up here is having my mom do my makeup, record a video on that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see that video. I will be more than happy to do that and film it. I think that has the potential to be a really fun video. Ah, feeling good. Then to the foundation. She has a really good one. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. She has Ivory Nude. This foundation is supposed to be incredible. So many people rave about it. So I'm excited to use it. I normally stick to the drugstore foundations. That's just me. But my mom has a lot of good high-end makeup. Ooh. Very yellow tone, but not bad. Pretty good match. Me and my mom are usually the same kind of foundation shade as well. I honestly was not worried about this challenge. I was honestly really excited for it because I know my mom has some good makeup. It actually wasn't until like two years ago that my mom started getting really into makeup and she's gotten with me to iMats. We always shop for makeup together. Whenever I come up, we always head to Ulta, Sephora. My mom loves getting new makeup just as much as I do and it's so much fun. She always keeps up on all of the new makeup launches and sends them to me and is like, hey, this is coming out, you know, video ideas. It's so sweet and so helpful. Jeez, the coverage of this is insane. Ooh. I am loving it and it's such a beautiful matte full coverage feeling. Let's do some concealer. So I grabbed a few of her concealers. She had the Lorac Touch Up and Go Concealer Pen. She also had one by Morphe and then another one by Cover FX. Usually I'm not a fan of these stick concealers, but I might test one out. I think I'll go in with the Cover FX. This is in the shade P30. Kind of put a little bit under here. This is a very close match to uh, foundation actually. Another fun video that I'm actually probably gonna film with her this week is a come shop with me, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. She loves to hunt for high-end makeup at TJ Maxx and Marshalls as well. So I thought that could be another really fun video to film with her. And I love filming those videos for you guys. I think they're so much fun. So that is one to look forward to this week coming up. All right, then some powder. She had the Cover FX Perfecting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Gonna layer my little sponge and apply it underneath the eyes. Now, we were actually together at IMATS and the LA Girl booth. The woman there, she was saying how this 
I think it's blush. Yeah, it is a blush. It's called Just Because. A lot of people buy it to use it as contour, so my mom picked it up then. Because here's what it looks like. It is a very cool toned taupe powder. I thought that was so clever and I'd been wanting to use it ever since you picked it up. So now's the time. Let's see how this LA Girl blush works as contour. She did have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette, but I have that one. I use it daily. Well, almost every day. The Wet n Well is usually my go-to, but I still use that palette quite frequently. So I was thinking, why not use something new? Don't go with what you already know. Not bad, but let's warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna take this Elizabeth Arden bronzer in Sunset Bronze. I don't even think she's used this. This looks completely fresh with the pattern. Yeah, I don't even think she has. Well, this will be fun. Warm up these cheekbones. Let's do it. Ooh, that was a lot I picked up. But why stop there? Let's keep it going. We have some blush. This is the Bobbi Brown blush in... Oh wait, is it Illuminating Bronzing Powder? But it's pink. I use it as blush. Let's dip it onto a blush brush. Same kind of mauve tone as the eyeshadow palette we used. Jeez, I may have gone a little bit too ham with that contour. Jesus. Okay, let's roll into a little bit of a highlight. I have three of them. This is the little Jouer trio that was during Christmas. She has the shades Topaz, Citrine, and Rose Quartz. So I'm thinking with this kind of a look, I'll go with the pink one, the pink toned. I think I'll also pop it in the inner corner. Oh, geez, that is beautiful. That is even more powerful than the Makeup Revolution one that I have that I adore. This one is intense. Jeez. Wow, this is beautiful. I need this in my inner corner as well. So let's find my itty bitty pencil brush. I'm gonna take it on my Makeup Geek one. Pop this in the inner corner and holy bejeebus that is blinding even as an inner corner highlight. Ooh, yes. So I think right now I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna fix up the liner a little bit and I'm gonna complete the lower lash line with the eyeshadow. I'll do that off camera just to save a little bit of time so I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I fixed up the lower lash line, added some liner. I had the same kind of process I did on the upper lid on the lower lash line. Just kind of smoked it out a little bit. Okay, and then for mascara, she had the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. This is in the shade Black Brown. Come on! Half black. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. It has these really tiny little strands on the wand, so it's really good for the lower lash line. I was kind of on the fence how I felt about it on the upper lashes. I like it on the lower lash lids, but uh, I think I'm leaning towards really liking it. It felt like it made them a little bit thick and kind of clumpy, but it seems like it's kind of working itself out. I don't know, I think this might be one I need to play around with a few more times, but I kind of like it. It gives you good volume. Alright, last ingredient. We need some lips. Now, I grabbed a few different options because I wasn't sure what look I was going for. Um, since I did a mauve tone, can't do the Tom Ford Coral. That's just too much. Let's see, what do we got here? We have Bobbi Brown in Neutral Rose. Mm, but then we also have a Flower Beauty. Oh, this is a nude. This is... Naked Blush Matte. Let's test this one out. This is the Flower Beauty one. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. Naked Blush. Good shade. But here we have it. The full face of my mom's makeup. This was so much fun to do. Honestly, if I could steal three pieces out of all of my mom's makeup, it would be this last product I put on, the Flower Beauty Naked Blush matte lipstick, the Jouer highlighter in rose quartz, 
and the Marvelous Mauve's Dose of Colors palette. Those three are by far my favorite from this little tryout. Oh, I did forget one thing. Last little touch. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. Let's apply this. has a beautiful mister on it. You know those ones at the drugstore usually have those really large ones where it just goes like that one's just like you don't even feel it. It's that nice like shh. I'm honestly loving the way that my makeup turned out. I mean of course there was a few misses that didn't really work out like the liner. I'm kind of debating the contour. I may have gotten a little bit too ham with it. I might need to play around with it again. But this is the completed look using only my mom's makeup. I know I was definitely at an advantage with my mom's makeup. She had a lot of good stuff. But hopefully you guys still enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment down below if you want to see my mom does my makeup video. I would be happy to oblige with that and get that up for you guys. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button so you will be notified every time I post. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.